Coming up on this episode of SEO Lunch, we have many resources, up to 5,000 tips yeah. to help you get business. And I define just what a grammatical magician is. Coming up on the next SEO Lunch. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, it's always good to see you. This is the show where we take all the top news articles from inbound.org, SEO, web marketing, lead generation, all that awesome stuff to get you more traffic and more business for the small business or the just starting out SEOer. And we cram it into one convenient 15 minute block for you. That's right. Uh, Most of our articles are from inbound.org. We don't claim to be super SEO gurus, but we do claim that you're going to enjoy your lunch, at least, (laughs) as you listen to us talk about web marketing. Do subscribe. We want to get to 500. We're halfway there. Hit the subscribe button in YouTube. Matt, what's going on in news today? Let's go right into it. Google Plus grows to become the second largest social platform globally. YouTube is actually number three. Um, The most subscribers are on the Google platform. That's a combination of YouTube, Google, uh, Google accounts, and Google Plus. Um, and growing exponentially, even though people said it was going to be a failure. Absolutely. Um, We're going to talk about the trouble with social news, specifically those karma things, those subreddit things, those upvote things, plus one, one, anything like that, and how it is actually effectively ruining search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. How to produce high quality written content. Uh, This is obviously for your blog, not for your newspaper. Find a topic people want to read about, research that topic, be unbiased, uh, that's what we try to be, um, and make it actionable. Tell people how uh, to eat well instead of just telling them where uh, to eat well, uh, that kind of thing. Absolutely. Very cool. Um, <clears throat> getting to the same page, getting a little more technical, we have a fantastic guide we're going to talk about a little bit. This is called, one of my favorites. Oh, great. It's called The Advanced Guide to SEO by Neil and Sujan Patel, and we're going to talk a little about that. You know, It just basically covers the gamut, the whole range of things to get yourself uh, noticed on the internet, which is great. And then we'll go right into the holy grail of e-commerce conversion. Uh, This is a super large 91 point checklist. Uh, It's more advanced uh, for the small business folks, but uh, we're gonna give it to you anyway for you to peruse and pull some of these hot topics off of. And while we're talking about a lot of advanced stuff today, uh, Rishi Lakani wants to tell us that we can't all be SEO rock stars. What we're gonna look at today is that, you know, you don't have to be everything. You can be just one little thing and work together with other people. Uh, last week, we talked about the famous 80-20 rule yes. and how much we love that. And uh, look, if you can just do 80% of it um, and get the ball rolling at least in one area because it's just such a large realm uh, of stuff, get going, get get busy. Absolutely. Let's talk about Google+. Plus. Let's do it. What do you think about Google+. Plus? I like Google+. Plus. I do as well. Uh, we In a couple of our earlier uh, episodes, we talked about sort of how it's growing not just by user base, but also in sort of the application. Hangouts on air through YouTube. Um, so being able to do web conferences, stream things live like so. Um, and uh, we also talked about, um, oh boy, I'm <laughs> uh, with with Google uh, Plus being able to uh, share pages with other people. So uh, having a business, but being able to connect with people on a better level than like a Facebook ad page yeah. would, uh, and not having a lot of those same restrictions that Facebook has just ever since they, you know, became public, just all these different kind of hurdles that we're having to deal with now as businesses. Yeah. On Facebook. Uh, uh, the source of this article goes all the way back to the global web index.net article yeah. written by, uh, Brett is just his name. Brett. That's we, it. We will have, the, we will have the link, but look, when we talk about Google plus, Everyone was doubting it. Everyone was saying, Jesus, another social platform. I have to figure this out. Let me tell you something. Obviously, Google's powering the most searches. That's where people are finding Mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And then there's that key uh, of Google authorship, which links your little pretty picture uh, or business logo to a piece of content. Uh, that was linked to Google+. Plus. If you have right. people circling you on Google+, Plus, then they're going to see those results first mm-hmm. with your little icon or brand uh, in search results. So... You might not have to be super engaged on it. And right. I think this is kind of the, the little thing behind Google is if you're going to be on social, we want you engaged in talking to people. But it's right. one of those things like, look, if you just simply can't handle it, at least get on it, get yourself set up mm-hmm. properly um, so that people can find you on there. They've been doing a great job creating this ecosystem with, with all their different pl- programs like YouTube that they now obviously have acquired and working with um, 
to just kind of keep it easy. So you create one profile and that's good for everything yeah. and you don't have to really worry yeah. about it. It's all linked together and it's cool to see it kind of come to form. I would almost go as far as to say, look, if you're having trouble keeping up with all these social platforms yeah. and you're not getting a re and you're not really finding, um, conversion on any of them right. or none of them really working right. out, quit all of them and just go to Google plus because right. especially if you're a small business, Google plus <laughs> is going to start going into, uh, Google local pages. Right. So you're going to be start to be able to manage your location yeah. through there. So you're going to need to yeah. be there eventually. Yeah. Google's just a train that can't be stopped at this point. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> they just keep going and keep, keep growing. And it's, it's, it's going to be insane to see where this is going to be in a year, yep. a year from now. Um, but as far as, you know, sharing your content, going everywhere and finding yourself, maybe not seen, um, that's sort of a criticism that's been brought up a lot. And it's a criticism that's brought up in our second article, uh, the trouble with social news, uh, written by Aldo Cortesi on his blog, on his personal blog. And what it basically says is, you know, those karma votes, those upvotes, those those links on, you know, on Reddit, things like that. Inbound.org. Anything, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> they're they're kind of killing the whole the whole point of being there in the first place. So what, what he's basically saying is, you know, these these karma things, these upvotes were were created to give people a way to say, this is what I really like to do. This is really what I really like to see. But I think what's happening and what he and I agree with this. I don't know how you feel about it, but what he's saying is basically people are creating these, these pages. They're not, they're getting one vote mm -hmm. and it's getting trashed, but it might be a very compelling piece of content. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, somebody who's just been on a while longer and is just posting pictures of their cat, their kittens or whatever, uh, is getting, you know, 300 votes and you know, they're on the top of the page and kind of the, a lot of good content is just getting buried by virtue of the fact that people are up, uh, upvoting their friend or upvoting who's popular. And it just yeah. sort of, that, that's the, that's the problem with numbers. That's the problem with, um, likes, you know, when, when, when all the social stuff came out, it was all about how many likes right. can you get? I, I got 5,000 fans in a weekend. Bet you can't do that. Yeah. And then there were those, you know, social media marketing gurus that were just doing things to drive numbers. Mm -hmm. and, it, and now we're starting to see it's not about numbers. It's not about how many likes you get. It's not about how many plus ones you get. Yeah. It's not even about the keywords you rank for because if you right. can't convert on those numbers, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't really matter. Right. It's just, it's just your, hey, I, I've got 5,000. What do you have? Well, I've got five people, but they are making me uh, a much more profitable business yeah, than yeah. 5,000. Yeah, what's 5, the difference, 000, right? Yeah, right. Uh, and we see this on inbound.org. This was a huge topic just recently. I think we create some of the best WordPress <laughs> content that Absolutely. there is out there. Of course. Um, and we never get a plus yeah, yeah, one yeah, yeah, because yeah. no one really, I know for whatever reason, yeah. we're just not part of the cool crowd. Yeah, we're not, we're not the cool. We're not the cool kids. I'm not afraid to say it. Not, not afraid to stand <laughs> up for the hard work that we put into the there show. Uh, let's jump over to the next one. Great. Uh, how to produce high quality written content. Mm -hmm. This is an awesome article uh, from the awesome folks at Distilled. Uh, yeah. Kyra Kewick? I think it's Kira. Oh, sorry. I Kira. apologize if we butchered your name. <laughs> um, this is a very lengthy article. Some really good stuff. This is something yeah. you want to grab a cup of coffee on a Sunday. Yeah. Save this article over on distilled.net's blog. Yeah. Read through it. Understand yeah. it. Really digest mm -hmm. what it's like to, to, to create that uh, rich uh, written content for your blog. Absolutely. It's really cool. And the, the main focus I got, the main takeaway I got from it was create actionable content. Um, the example we you mentioned a little earlier when we were kind of talking about what we're going to go over today uh, was, you know, the, the thing in the notes here, which is basically, you know, tell people how to eat well instead of just telling them how to eat, uh, to eat well. So, you know, you have to sort of do a little more research, make yourself an expert uh, in the field. And at least be unbiased about it and just come in and say, here are the facts. This is what you have to do. Provide something that the person's going to gain from it. You know, in, in that case, you know, obviously, if you're trying to lose weight, telling somebody to eat well, it's, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. Duh. But how do I eat well? Because right. that's, that's, that's the hurdle that they're trying to, to get at. So create something that is actually going to be useful for right. what people are looking to do. Exactly. One of the, my favorite sections uh, of this blog post is how to structure your content. They say, uh, she says, most noobs uh, to the web writing structure their content in traditional essay format, which consists of long blocks of text. This right. is horribly ineffective, and I totally agree with that. Yeah. I uh, am no uh, champion of the right. of the pen, and when I hit the blog scene, yeah. uh, it was only natural for me to just break up small paragraphs because right. it's the only way my small brain uh, can actually put this stuff uh, together. So definitely check it out. And look at the structure of that yeah. article itself mm -hmm. with the images and the links and the bullet yeah. points. She's practicing what she's preaching. Look at it from a fifty thousand foot view and say, "That's how I have to structure my content." It's, re it's really, really cool. And and going through going through high school or going through my school career and college, it, I was very much a, a grammarian, and I just love that. And when I first started writing blogs, I I suffered that myself, just writing these really wordy things. 
I think the ultimate. This is this is completely off topic from from this this article. But a great thing to do if you're writing as a business or whatever you're doing is read what you wrote. Just literally, write, put it down. Go to the website and just read in the preview. Read what you wrote. And if it's you know you can breathe while you're saying it. And if it sounds exciting. And if it doesn't sound like trash when you say it. A lot of times you you read you write something that sounds good, but when you read it, it doesn't sound good. Just read it. Mm-hmm. When in doubt, read it. Never read call it yourself loud. a grammarian either. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> Let's move on to the next yeah. article. Let's move on to the next article. So again, Neil and Sujan Patel, of, uh, uh, I guess, uh, owners of quicksprout.com, which Very is actually nice. a WordPress-powered uh, website itself, have just put out the advanced guide to SEO. And this is insane. It's a huge, huge uh, retina-optimized uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> guide, user guide for basically every sort of advanced practice in SEO you can possibly imagine. Um not, maybe not necessarily something that you'd want to read all in one take. Uh, there's a lot going on here, but yep. if you want tips in a certain area, they do break it down for you in different steps, uh, and, and it covers everything from link building, um, sort of why to use WordPress, because they use WordPress, and why that's helpful as a CMS for your uh, search engine optimization and many other uh, best practices. Yeah, this is a, a quick sprout. Dot com blog is probably one of the most famous SEO right. and inbound marketing uh, companies. And Neil Patel, of course, one of the most famous web marketers. Yeah. Uh, this is how he made his uh, claim to fame is with infographics like this. It's yeah. not your traditional blog article. Right. Um, it's very uh, graphically intense, uh, yeah. creative and fun to read. Yeah. Uh, so do check it out. It's definitely uh, an awesome, awesome time. There is a ton going on. Uh, there is. So <coughs> next one. Holy grail. Of e-commerce conversion uh, from our good friends over at SEO Moz. That's right. Um, look, this is a 91-point checklist. There's a ton of stuff going on here yeah. as well. Um, we want you to use this as a resource. You could spend days, <coughs> if not weeks, going through this, especially oh, yeah. if you're the, uh, the first uh, person in the f- line of web marketing defense yeah. at your company. Yeah. Um, but it just goes to show you, look, if you're making a case to spend money in SEO, right. if you're an seo trying to right. convince small business people to do SEO stuff, especially with e-commerce, which is huge, there's a lot to do. Absolutely. And there's a lot of steps here. Don't get bogged down by it. Um, it's very visual and you can, you know, look at a couple links or look, look at a couple steps and sort of just kind of gradually improve your website, make it look nicer, mm-hmm. um, make it work, work much more nicely. Um, I mean, it, look at it's, Tip number 70 under the information touch points. <laughs> show your product up, show your product close up, up, close up videos. Close, close up videos, yeah. I mean, imagine the whole process yeah. if you were right. s- selling widgets of, of what just that one single step yeah. means. What does um, it look like? What I, I want to know right. before I buy it. So really, really cool stuff. Um, great. I mean, if you guys have been coming in here from, you know, re- watching our, our popular e-commerce series and stuff, a great other tool to use. You've picked the plugin, hopefully at this point, or you've picked you know, the ecosystem you want to work with, and now you kind of have a great guide for you as well. Mm-hmm. Provided by uh, qblocks.com, posted on SEO Moz. It's mm-hmm. great. Uh, one of my favorite ones to wrap it all up with, mm-hmm. we can't all be SEO <laughs> rock stars. Um, this was another great post. Uh, I'll let you pronounce that name because you... <laughs> it's Rishi, it looks like Rishi Lakani. And, and it's blog, it's on his blog, explicitly.me. Um, great article, just in the headline alone because it's oh so true. Yeah. Uh, something we didn't talk about before recording the show today. I talked to our in-house SEO uh, resident, Tom, over the weekend to say, how do you, what do you think about the SEO yep. lunch? Mm-hmm. You know, how is it, uh, how does it relate to you as a hardcore SEO guru? Yes. Um, and what does it mean to you? And he says, well, I don't think I would talk about um, the triangulation of this SEO keyword and the correlation to the sun right. with this. And I said, Tom, no, this is for small yeah, business yeah. folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's great that, that you have that knowledge and we do apologize. We are not the, the gurus we're, we're not uh, that the, yeah. are living and breathing in every day, but we're trying to help you with that 80-20 rule to get it done. Absolutely. Um, so you can't do everything. Pick a piece that you are good at mm-hmm. inbound marketing, blogging, video creation. Mm-hmm. If you can do it all, that's awesome. If yep. you can't pick one that you can scale. Absolutely. With. Rishi says, stop reading a hundred posts on link building in the hope of becoming a link ninja. Don't try and become an affiliate guru. If you don't really understand the intricacies of affiliate marketing, don't try and be an SEO writer. If your normal writing skills are below par, you have to know your strengths. Uh, as he says here, um, you just, you want to pick what you're good at and do it. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, real estate agent. If you're a real estate yeah. agent, um, you know, doing taking photos. Fo- if you don't have time to blog, taking photos of open houses and just summarizing mm-hmm. either like the style of the house or the yeah. style of the kitchen. Mm-hmm. If it's I don't know Martha Stewart kitchen, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. But if it is, take a photo of it. Talk <coughs> about that. 
simple, simple stuff yeah, if you're that you a law, can blog about. Yeah, if you're a law firm having like testimonials or some such, you know, making sure that they're easy to see, um, great access to contacting them in many different ways. Just be smart about about what you're doing, yep. and just and don't think in a, don't think in a computer sort of sense. Think in a how do I want to reach my client mm -hmm. sort of sense, which is great. Yep. Um, so look, if you are a small business uh, individual or you are that web marketer who's just starting out what pain points do you have what are yeah. you struggling with uh do let us know in the Please. comments absolutely uh subscribe we were halfway there to our 500 <laughs> mark we want more and more if we're already at 500 by the time you see this we want 5,000. absolutely um keep in touch let us know uh, what else we can we can do on the show if you're coming over from wordpress we hope you really enjoy the press of this video series we have all about wordpress if you are running your business on wordpress and you haven't seen that yet flip over yeah. to the press this absolutely. channel all right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.